Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we will be looking at your energies for the month of May 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. In this video, we will be looking at your love energies, okay? So this is basically a love reading for you and your person, where uh, we will be looking at, at your past, present and future energies together in the relationship, okay? What's going on, what happened and what's coming up in the future. And as you all know that this is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. So what's coming up for my work goals? So May 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. May 2023 going on for my work goals please okay. it looks like that it, it, it seems like a love uh, a new love okay maybe <clears throat> just some months or some couple of years not years also some months i feel that this is more about those people dealing with your person or uh, the reading is for basically for those people more who recently got into a relationship or at least uh, or even if you were like months or years also so the meetings were less the talking the communication were less comparatively to those people who uh, who you know spend a lot of time and communication happens more so it, it's more like you know you used to have um, like um, the meeting between you and your person was like uh, once in three months four months and communication was also very less so yeah so this is that that uh, relationship we are talking about today so in the past we have the eight of pentacles five of pentacles and knight of cups so yes there was a definite coming up of you know a, a very strong bond was created at a certain point but after some time you know in the past only <coughs> the distance started to increase okay you always started feeling that you were left out in the cold your person you felt that your person is dealing with somebody else or at least you know they you were you used to see them online also but not replying to your messages so it happened in the past it started happening in the past only uh in the present we have two of cups queen of cups and ten of wands i feel that you still uh you still remember the time you both used to be together and the time was very beautiful the dates when you both used to go on dates also okay but uh, somehow it's like making you feel that you know like uh, just <coughs> keeping yourself um, awake keeping yourself alive <coughs> keeping yourself alive from uh, this kind of a relationship like just thinking about the past just thinking about the memories of the past and then uh, not able to you know um, to feel the pressure right now so it's it's the more uh, the more possibility of present energies are uh, that you are just dealing uh, dealing with that energy that pressure of just dealing with a relationship but not actually a relationship is not actually happening so this is that energy which we are seeing today in the future we have uh, three of swords three of pentacles and the hermit okay so yeah i don't know but uh, seems like you know the more you will try to work in this relationship the more silence you will get okay it looks like you know that sometimes the endings are near the, the universe is trying to tell you the universe is hinting you giving you hints of uh, a relationship coming towards an end but you know it's not the future i am predicting i'm here 
I'm telling what are the consequences basically if things are really happening this way that you know you are still in that zone where you are not even coming having a good communication with your person and they are and you are able to see them online so these are the hints you cannot ignore the red flags Virgos please okay so they are in either they are involved with some somebody else or they are involved with something which is of more priority so this is what it is coming so the hermit energy is coming at the end let's clarify your reading so we have the ace of cups as the overall energy for my what goes why the ace of cups is here we have the six of cups along with the ace of cups yeah this is like it can be a long term uh, relationship but long distance along with that um, you know not so much of time being together with each other along with that you are just living on the memories so that's something which is very very tough for go sometimes you cannot just live on the memories you cannot just physically touch that person you cannot even communicate not even you know um facetime or other then the video calls also so no seeing each other no touching each other no no you know listening each other so this is something which is uh which made your relationship somewhere you know that drifting apart of energy started happening a long time back let's see the knight of cups energy in the past why the knight of cups energy is here so this reading is um, you know if your cross watcher is also watching this video so maybe you are dealing with this kind of uh, virgo who is doing this thing to you so you just take as it resonates okay vice versa as well nine of cups we have the tower i think you felt that tower moment long back ago maybe there was a heartbreak maybe there was something you got to know about your person in the past that <clears throat> they are dealing with somebody else you got to know that top tower moment you experienced in the past were goes you knew that something is not right you knew, knew things but you ignored okay you were happy being you know you were feeling that uh, i'm left out in the cold you felt that uh, that uh, energy of uh, your person not being there with you okay you are alone but still somewhere maybe they came back to you you accepted them and blah 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 things happened but uh, they kept on happening see it, it's like you know you are still in the in that option zone you are not the one your person will think like uh, you know this she is the one and or he is the one like that, that kind of an energy so uh let me check the queen of cups why the queen of cups is here in the present energy for my for goes <clears throat> we have the judgment along with that what else do we have we have the fool i think the decision was made from your person <coughs> the decision was made uh, by your person somewhere this new person who came okay you felt that this person is uh, you felt that that this person is dealing with somebody else you knew about this new person okay maybe th th there's a possibility that the third party situation is here but uh, you felt that okay so maybe just friendship is going on maybe they are just communicating maybe they are just talking to each other so that's how you didn't you know find you didn't go deep into that thing but somehow lately you got to know and you know there's a lot of pressure over you that this person is ready to move on is ready to even you know start a new life without you so that's how you are still you know living in the memories with this person and they are really ready to move out of the relationship so maybe there are some decisions decision making in front of you from your person and that's why you know it's like a trigger it's like you know too much at the moment you are unable to deal with 
so let's see why the three of swords is here in the future energies for my Virgos. Why the three of pentacles is here for my Virgos. And why do we have the hermit energy for my Virgos. Why do we have the hermit please. Okay. <clears throat> okay so we have the. Somewhere I feel with the three of swords and the knight of rods. I, I feel that you know your person is. Um, in the coming future so you know this is not a person with whom you can really spend your life with Virgos okay so it's better to let go of this kind of a person because uh, you know if you will really accept this person right now today you will it's there's a strong possibility that the heartbreak uh, you will you will accept or you will f feel the same heartbreak again in the future okay so some somewhere you also need to take some strong decisions okay maybe then you can recover on yourself recover yourself you can just work on yourself and then you might find somebody better than this person somebody mature somebody stable somebody uh, who can give you strong commitment the hermit and the knight of swords is telling us in the fu near future about this relationship that uh, you know it's uh, one person if um, our decision is made this person is not going to come back soon so that's how there is a loneliness there there's solitude energy which is coming up some some kind of self-love energy are also coming up in your reading her uh, Virgos so this is you Virgos the hermit energy okay you might be like off from the world all of a sudden but uh, yeah you are going to gain a lot from this uh, you know away being away from the people uh, from the world you're going to gain a lot during this time work goes okay so yeah that's all from my end and i hope this helps so we will meet you in the next video till then bye